Um, so now we will talk about The Sharks. The Sharks is the first Uruguayan film to be playing in our world cinema dramatic competition. It's a big deal for us. Um, we are thrilled to present the film that delicate, delicately captures a young woman's coming of age. It's a, a moment in her life um, where she's experiencing a lot of firsts, where she's testing what's right and what's wrong, and that's she's navigating everything in her life with ambiguity and it's a very confusing period and the director of this film captured it so well. We were very moved by this film when we first saw it. Um, we're so grateful that the director of the film is here with us today and I would love to welcome her on stage to say a few words. Please help me welcome the director of The Sharks, Lucia Gandhi. We are really happy, we are emotional and uh, emotions in the chest. <laughs> this is my first film and, and this is the first time that we are going to watch it in the mm. yeah, this week. Yeah, I mean, we finished the movie like two weeks ago. So, <laughs> so we're really excited for you. It is not autobiographical, I'm not like that. Uh, it is more inspired by the feelings uh, when I was growing up. Uh, oh, my, my parents, uh, the shows, uh, the TV shows I used to love watching. Eh, eso, esos mitos que hay que existen sobre la sexualidad también los fui recolectando. Eh. Those myths about sex sexuality, I also gathered those. Eh, ah, y la empecé a escribir eh, hace un tiempo ya, eh, cuando no, no, no tenía, digamos, una la historia, no, no empecé a pensar la historia como voy a hacer la, la película de una niña que se enamora de alguien y le rapta al perro, no fue así. Empecé más por la construcción de un personaje que, que es un, está un poco interesado en hacer el mal. I started writing the film a long time ago, but I didn't have the, the, the plot exactly. I didn't have like a the whole storyline, but rather um, um, 
the idea of this girl, this teenage girl, um, that has some malice in her and wants to do harm. Um, I, I'm, we are very interested and moved by the setting of the, of the movie, um, this beach town. Um, did you have that place in mind? And um, was it one of many places that you were looking into? And maybe how did you guys find this place? Yo puedo describir un poco lo que es Periápolis. Eh, mi familia tiene una casa allá afuera, eh, en la playa. Es un balneario que fue construido para los argentinos y, en, en una época en que ellos iban a veranear Uruguay, pero nunca resultó. Fue como una idea de un balneario que nunca... Entonces hay grandes edificios. Es un, es un lugar bastante mágico, lleno de mujeres, de veteranas que canjean cupones de jubilación para ir a pasar las vacaciones ahí. I, I think I can describe a, a, a bit of place in Piriápolis. Uh, actually, my parents have a house there. It's a, a resort town that was originally built for Argentinians uh, back in the days. And uh, it, it has a, it's, it's a magical place. You still have these uh, um, high rises, it's, uh, and, and all these uh, better women that um, change uh, coupons uh, with the with the retired people. Eh, sí, fue bastante fácil. Eh, Lucía tenía muy claro dónde sucedía la historia. Eh, hay varios balnearios similares a este en Uruguay. Eh, lo difícil fue encontrar la época adecuada para poder filmar. Y bueno, porque en temporada era muy caro, pero tenía que ser verano. Pero en sí, el lugar desde lo vamos estaba definido por la historia, entonces fuimos ahí a buscar las pequeñas locaciones. It was fairly easy to, um, to get the location as Lucia um, had pretty much in mind what she wanted, and um, you know, um, um, and there were some um, uh, resort, uh, resort towns in the area. Um, the difficult part was actually just choosing the, the right season because we wanted to do it in summer, but it's, it's high season, so that was just the, the difficulty. But um, the rest of that, uh, we knew what we did. And what about the casting? Um, every character is really detailed, and um, it seems perfectly aligned. This family that looks great together. Um, how difficult was it, and maybe what was the, some of the interactions to get everybody prepped and making them seem like a real family? Sí, eh, fue el, el desafío era mezclar no actores con actores, eh, entonces ensayamos mucho, nos hicimos bastante todos amigos antes, nos entendimos y, y listo. ¿Querés contar cómo apareciste? Um, the, the real challenge was uh, how to mix actors with known actors and we rehearsed a lot. But um, we got along uh, really well together, and, uh, and, uh, and it went well. And, and Romina, you want to talk how you appeared? Eh, sí, en realidad yo estaba haciendo eh, clases de actuación en el liceo, una profesional, y Lucía me encontró. Estaba buscando actrices para su película, y me encontró y le gusté. I was just um, um, uh, doing acting uh, classes in my school, and uh, you know, Lucia uh, found me, and, um, and uh, she liked me for her character. Sí, ella en el en el en el casting, ella fue la primera que vi por un video y me gustó, pero después cuando la citamos y la vi en persona, ella estaba sonándose los sonándose. <laughs> Ella puede sonar todas las partes del cuerpo y la vi, la cara, y fue como un approach bastante shallow, muy shallow lo mío. Fue muy superficial y cuando la conocí, sí, ya fue de más sentimental. Um, and she was the first person I saw uh, originally on V in, in, in a video, and then I met her, and then and the first time I met her, she was a uh, Cracking her knuckles, uh, yeah. and um, she can crack up basically every part of her body, and uh, and um, and uh, so it was a kind of a shallow approach, um, you know, um, her, her physical appearance. So you know, uh, I decided to cast her. Do you guys have any questions? Yes, in the back. Hola, Gracias. Why can you tell why the sharks? No sé, un día se me ocurrió 
no sé, eh, me, me, gusta, me, me gustaba la cuestión de que haya algo paralelo y, y un poco asociar a, al personaje del adolescente con un animal así tan bello, tan desconocido, que actúa rápido sin medir las consecuencias, el instinto, todas esas cosas. I don't know, it just uh, it occurred to me once, uh, uh, but I, I really wanted to have this kind of parallel um, and, and, and draw this connection kind of this, uh, with this teenager and kind of this, this animal and, and draw this parallelism between both. We have time for a few more questions if you guys are interested. Wait, is this the first time Romina has seen the movie? No. No, actually it's my second time. The first time was in her living room, in a small TV, so it was pretty good. I wanted to reserve the moment special that it would be bigger for the premiere. So I showed it very well, in very bad quality. But I wanted to say a special moment, but I showed her in the small screen. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, please. Hi, Romina. Hi, Romina. Hi, Romina. Well, we had a bit of rehearsal to... Uh, I'm going to speak Spanish. <laughs> um, sí, tuvimos ensayos y pude conocer el resto de, de cast, que tal vez eso me ayudó mucho. Y nada, creo que conecté con Lucía y eso me ayudó mucho para, para mi personaje. Además, me, todos mis pelos crecieron. Y sí. <laughs> Porque le pedí que, se, que no se depilara más y que comiera mucho chocolate si le salían granos. Y que si se, y si se pegaba, se caía y se veía una estimadura mejor, ¿no? We rehearsed a lot and uh, I got along with the cast and I also really hit off uh, on really nicely with uh, Lucia. And um, so we, we rehearsed, but, um, but then uh, all, my, all my, my facial, all my body hair grew um, as um, as uh, Lucia told me not to um, do a chocolate, not to um, to shave uh, to shave my body, so my, all my body hair grew. And to eat chocolate so she can break out. <laughs> um, yes. Y un día nos sucedió que llegamos al mar, eh, a la playa, y estaba toda el agua roja, porque es, era marea roja, es una alga o algo así. Y como que tuvimos, ahí improvisamos la escena que ella tira como unas cosas y eso, pero no, no, no teníamos el agua de rojo, estaba así. Fue lindo, fue como entender que a veces la película te puede ganar y tenés que absorber, improvisar un poco. And one day we got to the beach and we saw that the ocean was red because it was a red tide. So we decided to use that to um, do the advantage of the film. That's where um, we shot uh, where they throw things at, at the sea, but, but it, it was red. So it was just also learning that uh, sometimes uh, the film um, can, can surprise you. Uh, wins, wins you. The, 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 the film can win you over. Mm -hmm. And she had to be creative and improvise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, oh, we have time for uh, one more. So, let's go, yeah, yes. How did you select the, the music? Uh, it's very uh, youthful and goes well with uh, Romina's character. Eh, estaba escuchando mucho a Sebastián Tellier, un francés que, que toca el piano y que toca los sintetizadores. Y le dije a mis amigos, esta película se hizo mucho entre amigos, y esto le hicieron amigos míos desde que tengo 16 años. Les dije que hicieran algo parecido y así empezamos a combinar. Ellos usan sintetizadores viejos, 
muchas, muchas, muchas teclados más, no sé, muchas mezclas de teclados sonidos y fue, fue una de las partes más lindas de la película, la verdad, trabajarlo así. Um, um, I was listening a lot to Sebastián Tellier, who is a, a French musician, and uh, who uses makes a lot of uh, synthesizers and uh, yeah, make, makes us a lot of. And basically, the film was made among friends, uh, so uh, the people who do the music. But um, since I was 16 years old, um, they put the, together the, the, the music, and that's how it came, out. came together. Well, help me thank the film team and the star.